All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to be uh, working on the cartoon project and showing you guys a little bit about how that works. So we're going to start off by creating a new document and we're going to choose art and illustration and you can choose uh, 1280 by 1024. It doesn't really matter at this point because we can change it up later, but that's a good starting point. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the internet and uh, I'm going to search up my favorite cartoon. So I'll just do Mickey Mouse and go to images. And it's better if you have a higher resolution one, but it doesn't, you know, you don't want it to be too pixelated, but I'll just start with something like this. So I'll copy the image and then edit paste. First thing I'm going to do is lock that layer, and I'll just make a new layer. And uh, this is my image, and this is my drawing. To change the name, you just you just click on it twice slowly. No, double click in this program. So let's go back to properties, and because I have a couple of circles, ellipses, I'll just start with by creating. Oops. Get on that layer by creating a couple of uh, ellipses, and these are kind of like ovals. So let me just rotate them and stick them in place. Now it's going to be tricky if uh, I'm working with white like that. It's probably best if, just like before, we use a color in our stroke, like a like something really easy to see, and set the stroke up a little bit. So you can see exactly what's going on. Okay, let me just rotate that a bit more. Pull it down. That's probably about as close as I'll get. So I'll start with that. Let's pull this one down and rotate it. And then, As far as like if you want to get this to match a little bit better, what you're going to do is go to the direct selection tool and that will allow you to, if you click on um, points, it'll show you the handles. It's a little hard to see that. There it is. I don't know why. This color may not work because I'm, I'm doing a color that's too similar. So I'm actually going to go with a stroke that's a different color like that. Mm. Okay, next I'll do uh, an ellipse for the face. And just push that over there. Okay, cool. And then using the Shape Builder tool, I'll select all these and then just Shape Builder them together. So we got one object. And then uh, what I'll probably do next is I'll just go around and outline the entire character. So for the sake of time, since you don't want to watch me do this, I'm just going to go really, really fast. In fact, I'm going to just stop here and not do the legs. Remember whenever you have a corner and you want to break it, um, you just click on it. So like right here, if I were to do that, it's going to curve around. So if you just click right on the point, it'll get rid of it. Click. Click. Very pixelated. Here. That one I'll just come back and fix later. And 
just come back to this. Okay. So yeah, once again, I'm gonna go to my uh, direct selection tool and just kind of clean up some of those. That just, this handle's too long, so I just pull it down. The way these points work, you can see that there's like this long curve right there. You can uh, adjust that in your stroke options. Just set the corners to round instead of uh, whatever that is, miter. And with the direct selection tool again, let me just tone this one back. You can also move the points around and adjust the handles. Now, if you decide that you want something to go from round to straight, what you do is you click on that anchor point, and then over here, under Convert, you can click on that, and that'll get rid of those handles, and if you want to put them back, you just push that. So if you need points. You can also add points with the pen tool by just clicking somewhere, and that'll add an extra point in case you need to make some more changes. If you click on a point, it'll delete it. I'm just going to control Z that. So again, click somewhere on the line to add a point. Click on a point that already exists to delete it. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to do once again a uh, shape builder. And I'm just going to make one big shape here. So, so far, I have this. And I'll just fill that in for you. That's a copy, I mean. Next, I'm going to get the uh, pen tool out. And I'm going to just cut out the shapes that I need. So all the little sections that need to be cut out. I'm gonna make sure it says anchor, and I'm just gonna keep on going. Now the reason that didn't delete that point is because I didn't have that line selected. If I had the line selected and I clicked on the pen tool, and I clicked here, it would just delete this point. So make sure that you deselect it before you start this next step. So I'm gonna click here, click on the anchor, come down, This anchor point right here and pull that there we go okay and then it looks like this little section needs to be cut out I uh, gotta cut out this section and here don't worry about the little lines um, like all this stuff, don't worry about that because that's going to be like one white area. I want to just, I'm just blocking out the major colors right now. So here. And the same anchor point. Let's come up here. I'm not going to worry about the mouth and the um, eyes just yet. Okay, so that's basically it. So what I'm going to do next is take all these. And with the Shape Builder tool, just break these into different pieces. So like those two look like they go together. No, they don't. Why is that line there? If I use the direct selection tool, I can delete that line by just clicking on it. Looks like I have it twice. Okay. So let me just make sure that that's a shape. There we go. Okay, cool. Huh, I'm not sure if that worked, but that's okay. So now uh, I'm going to take this off to the side. Hold down shift to keep it straight. Okay, I did something wrong. There we go. Cool. And then for each of these, if I click on the eyedropper tool, I can select the color that I want. So let me get this section. I'll use the eyedropper to pick the red. Come in here. Eyedropper, I'll just use it, the same one. Black. And black again. 
Once you pick a color, just pick from your own color so you don't accidentally pick like a different shade. Eyedropper. Select. Uh, eyedropper. And delete this little section right here. Okay, uh, I want to give everything a black stroke, so I'll come in here to my stroke options, give it a black one, and then increase the thickness until it matches whatever you see here. It looks like it's pretty thin, so I'll leave it like that. So there's Mickey Mouse. Um, now, you know, you can come in and add the other details like the eyes. So with the eyes, it looks like I do have a couple of ellipses. And I'll just need to rotate. And then again with the direct selection tool, I can come in and oops, move these anchor points. And then I'll just probably duplicate the other eye. Squish it a little. Down here at the bottom. See, it does something like that. It's kind of a weird curve because it's tilted. Ooh, that looks gross. So I'll take those eyes over, holding down shift to keep those in a perfectly straight line. I'm just kind of like eye it to see where they go. Color picker, boom. And black stroke. And then the mouth. The mouth will probably break up into two shapes because I do have the tongue there. Oops, that's getting annoying. You can always just come in while you're working and turn that off. And then uh, let me turn this back to green. Oops. And it still lets me keep working on the same one. Okay, so let's just clean these up. Oh, those points didn't connect, um, so I'm just going to take the direct selection tool and just push them together. And then, um, okay, and then the tongue. So let me deselect this first, otherwise this won't work. Now for the tongue. A little hard to see because it's pixelated. It's probably better if I had worked with a higher quality image, but this is what I got. All right, select both of those, shape builder, cut them into two shapes, and shift, push those over, get them approximately in the same position, eyedropper, pink. And notice how I ignored that line right there and this line right here. Do, do, do those last. That's definitely uh, going to be the smart choice there. So there we go. Let's take both of those. If you want to select more than one, just hold down Shift. Set the stroke to black. There we go. And then uh, let's add this little line. Okay, pull that over. And get rid of the fill. Now this one's kind of a tan color. This one's black. If you want to make it the same color. By all means, please do. Um, make sure that that kind of covers. Oh, I'll, I'll set the corners on this one again on the stroke to round. And then on this one, if you want to get a little fancy, you can go in and uh, change it to like that. And that'll. This is under stroke. If you just click on stroke down here under profile, you can set it so that the edges are tapered like you have in the original. And so he doesn't look too creepy. I better just add the eyes. Eyeball, the iris, 
Is that what they're called? Yeah. Pupils, sorry. some adjustments to the slider, but there you go. That's good for now. And the other one gets kind of cut off here, so I'll just push it like right there. And with the Shape Builder tool, I'll select both of those together with Shift. I'll click on this little piece. Deselect, reselect, and delete. And it looks like this little white area right here shouldn't, go, shouldn't really be there, so. Okay, so my, my Mickey Mouse is looking pretty good. Oh, amazing. I don't like the way this curve right here goes. And the hard part is, if you want to go back and make changes, you kind of got to like do it twice, because you got to do it to both shapes. But just pull that down a little bit. Uh, that's still a little weird, that's fine. Okay, and then like for the uh, hands, um, I'll come in and I'll need to just create some lines here. And I'm just going to make mine black for the sake of simplicity. Okay. That's a little wonky, so again, direct select and make sure that those intersect. Just touch them until they say intersect. And then we so I want to have a little bit more roundness to it. Maybe with these hands. Oops. And let me just do these last lines. And the hand. Get rid of the fill. I'll just do them all at once. I think that's it. Let's pull that over. And again, you can always just come in with the direct selection tool and make sure everything. Like those two need to kind of sync up, so I'll just push that over. Pull this guy over. And pull that. And again, this is the direct selection tool, which is how you can modify individual points. So, not a bad little uh, Mickey Mouse that I've created for myself here. Um, there's a bunch of other little fine details I can continue to create, but I think as a starting point, and as far as the stroke color, you know, maybe black's not the way to go. It's a little hard because it's pixelated to tell exactly, but um, yeah, and then you can see there's little areas of gradients. Oh, there's a little line right there that needs to exist. I'm just gonna do it from here. Um, but yeah, there's like there are some gradients and things like that that you can include if you want to. But uh, hopefully this is going to give you enough that you can kind of get started and use all the tools we've learned so far and do your best, create your cartoon.